Hello everyone, I know it might be messy, but today I'm going to show you how to actually solve this problem and how to make this folder accessible. So first thing first, you, you gotta realize that you use your um, user. So I use my user Michel Lester. And the thing here is that user doesn't have all the permissions in the, um, what is that, macOS operating system. So that you have to enter actually the super user and the super user, we sometimes call it super root, has to be with all the privileges. So basically what it means is that the super user can actually view this folder. Now, um, in order to switch um, to the super user, you have to go in the terminal, um, type su dash and then say root enter. Then enter your password that you use to, ex um, to access your, your Mac. So basically password that you, when you log in into your Mac, um, the one that you use, you gotta enter here. Once you're inside the user and if password didn't work for you, I mean, probably you changed it before or um, try to figure out it in the browser why password might not work. Um, so if it didn't work for you, it probably would result to you sorry or something like that. So make sure that you actually can access root. So now, as you can see, if I'll click two times on Let's Encrypt, it says to me the folder Let's Encrypt can be opened because you don't have permission. And that's the main issue. So basically, since I know that root can access this folder, I can say, well, then root can actually change the permission for my user. And that's right. That's actually what root can also do. So in order to change permission for this folder, we would say chmod which stands for change mod. And then I want to um, flag R, capital R. R stands for recursive. So basically it will go um, to the subdirectories uh, and change them all um, in order to make them view viewable. And then I would say 755. And now I would copy this let's encrypt folder. So I'd go here, copy, and then press the option key and hold it and then copy it um, and then paste it in here okay so and now i assume that it has to work press enter and as you can see now i can access all my folders and everything that is inside let's encrypt um, so basically this is how it works if we if we go over here we might see that 755 Basically what it does, um, it makes your user able to read this. And I can explain it even a little bit um, clearer. If we will go here and we'll press get info, as you can see, a system user can read and write and system user is you. So um, it is Misha Lestev over here, okay? This is the system user. This is the user you use to log in into your Mac, okay? Then we have Will and Everyone. And basically what that means is that Will and Everyone um, can only read and you user can actually read and write. So when we go over here and we say what 755 is, it is basically your user can are, um, read w write x is execute so basically can execute the script or something um that, that's fine if you don't understand what execute is but you gotta realize that first thing um is that this is basically for your user so you can read write and probably you can execute you uh, i mean you you surely can execute because we use 755 and what 755 does it allows you to execute this as well now d at the beginning stands for the di directory directory whatever so basically if i would check it here that would be a directory right so basically it says directory and for the user we allow we allow read write and execute and then the next thing that goes here here are these three things this is basically what will can do okay so will can basically write it cannot uh, no it, it can read it cannot write and it can execute okay 
Um, so this is what we allow for the will. And as you can see, will actually can read and execute, but there is no write here. So, and then the last thing is the same thing for basically for everyone, um, everyone has an access to the same thing, read and execute, but it cannot write anything inside the file. And this is basically what it is, okay? Um, I hope this video was helpful and basically this is how you um, you do this. So probably the last example that I'd provide you um, would be this one. So let me delete this. I create a new folder that I call um, test. And now I want to use this folder to show you that actually, so let's create index.php. Um, oh, okay. Uh, it was a folder, sorry. Anyways, let it be the folder, okay? And now I'm going to my root, okay? And uh, what I'm going to do is say chomd change mod and then recursive. That means that this one is going to be changed in its permissions as well. And I will say 640. And then I'd go over here and pre I mean, hold option, press option, then hold it, copy as the path name and then press enter. And now this one is going to be under this minus red minus as well. We won't see it over here though, because it's not, um, I mean, we won't see it. So I'm not going to go through details, but just trust me that it has that minus as well. Press enter and it didn't work. So, and we have to figure out why it didn't work, it says. Okay, sure. Um, so I messed up M and O. Let's, let's go back, control P would go back to the comment and then I would go option um, left arrow over here and M O D instead of the previous one. Now, when I press enter, this one is going to be closed. So locked from us, we won't be able to access it anymore. And the reason for that is because if we'll go over here, we'll see what six, okay. So we didn't have it here, looks like. Um, let's actually Google it and check what it gives to us. Okay. so. For the owner, it gives the permission to um, to read and write, and I'm not really sure. Is that the thing? Okay, so the owner has the um, has read and write permissions. Um, so basically, let's run this, and as you can see, we can't access this folder anymore. Um, well, it looks like we we should have so it looks like yeah um what what's happening here is that owner can actually read and write but it cannot execute so it can't open the folder um that what it leads to i believe so and basically so as you can see execute is a very important thing and let's go back and change the permission to 755 or there's a different one if i'm not mistaken now um, it, it's code 644 and 644 basically will make the same thing as 640 um all other user have no rights yeah a little bit different one so that would allow for groups and um different people to read the file but yes let's actually use 755 to um, give an access to the file again to our user and as you can see here we are back and after this you're you're done the only thing left is you say su dash um, and the user you want to return to press enter and you're done so that's it thank you